All right, let's see what we got going on up here. Probably really bright. That's great. Oh, wow. Well, that's a bit better than I expected. Oh, wow. Very nice. It's just great how it opens all up. This is the uh, MSR Seagull. I see a couple of the guys that I uh, talked to online, they have one too. Um, great little pots, good to cook out of, stainless steel, bomb proof basically. Love it to death. Oh, we're having a cup of coffee, it's great. This is a smaller version, so it doesn't hold a lot of water. You can't even really cook like a Mr. Noodles in it or anything like that. It's really heating up like cup of soups or things of that nature, and that would be the extent at which that'd be useful. So today's brew of choice is going to be Starbucks Vias. Nice little treat if you haven't had them before, if you're really into coffee. It is a nice substitute. Um, if you don't like stronger coffees, I'd recommend the Nescafe three in ones because it's more of like a it comes across as more of a hot chocolate. I uh, find them a bit sweet at times. But Starbucks be a definitely a good good cup of coffee for the amount it costs you and the fact you get it out in the middle of the woods. So works for me. Not much going on lately. Had a great summer of backpacking. Lots happened. Had lots of great trips. You saw a lot of great videos. I had a lot of fun making them. Um, kind of slowed down a little bit after the last trip and kind of working on the camp a little bit. This will not open to save my life right now. Yeah, the camp's come along really well. Excited to use a cabin. Really haven't found an opportune time yet. Been kind of on the go lately. Be soon though. Temperatures are dropping below zero, so should be should be should be a no problem to try it out soon. I just wanted to do some stove testing and things like that. Make sure it's safe, that kind of thing. Uh, obviously, I've worked on the uh, lean to a bit, winterizing that a little bit, which is great. Uh, it's come along perfectly. Still have stuff I want to do, but we'll see on. We'll see what I feel like doing before the snow lands. In all reality, it's where it wants, where I need it to be. However, <clears throat> I'd like to do some sidewalls, which will require me to punch some stakes into the ground. <clears throat> so I'll have to do that sooner rather than later. I'm excited for winter. I think it'll be a new, a different type of winter for me. Uh, more challenging with the two cameras now, uh, whereas last winter I didn't really have two for the most part. Um, I'm excited to get out and do some short trips, maybe some snowshoe trips or things like that. Uh, I haven't really decided on what I'm going to do. I know a cabin one's the kind of priority. It's been pretty much a year to the day that I posted my first YouTube video. I think it was early November that I posted it. And uh, I went back and looked at one of the first videos. I think it was the first video. And uh, yeah, the stark contrast. and. Over the course of this year, I've, I've gotten 282 subscribers. I think I'm around 14 or 15,000 views in total. I put out well over, not well over, but probably over 60 videos, and we're not even done the year yet. So I feel like I, I'm putting out some good content. I'm getting a little traction, and, and people in the YouTube community that know me, you know, I find that they enjoy my videos. Um, I've tried to get it out on bigger platforms like Facebook and things like that but it doesn't seem to really resonate with people or 
or whatever. So I get I get a few views, and I'm happy with that. I get great comments from friends and family and fellow YouTubers, and made some really good connections with people like um, Bushcraft Heroes. Uh, I, I speak with them and, and some of the other channels as well. I spend a lot of time, well not a lot of time, but I spend most of my time watching and, and talking to a bunch of fellows that, that hike and camp in, in Dartmoor over in the UK. Uh, lots of great channels there, great guys, uh, easy to get along with. Uh, I, I chat with them as often as I can. I'm kind of busy to chat, but they, they seem to be on a lot. Uh, one of the reasons I have 280 plus subscribers because uh, a gentleman named Andy from Kent's Survival, he, he kind of gave me a little little push on his channel through one of his videos, gave me a little boost in subscribers, so thanks Andy, I appreciate it. Uh, you got a great channel. He does similar stuff to me where you're out hiking, building camps, cooking. Uh, he doesn't do the backpacking thing quite as much, but he does do overnighters on the coast and things like that, so very similar in that regard. He takes it to a new level with the MREs, though, which I love watching that stuff. It's fantastic. It's uh, I love MREs. They're just so much fun. Uh, they're like a, it's like a, a little box of mystery surprises in some ways because you, sometimes you never know what you're going to get. Let's see. Who else do I watch? I watch um, Nick, on Dark, on, Nick on Dartmoor. I think it's Nick on the Dartmoor or Nick on Dartmoor. Uh, I'm horrible with YouTube channel names, so bear with me. Uh, he puts out videos regularly, and I always enjoy what he's up to, and he's out hiking about. Um, he and he hikes with like other guys from similar YouTube uh, series. Um, there's Dartmoor Wanderer, which I do believe is uh, Steep. Uh, there is Toddy Bushcraft, which is Carl. Uh, let's see who else. Mike from Cornish Knives and Camping. He's a character for sure. Love his videos. Uh, he's out all the time. Actually, all these guys are out all the time, and. There's a whole bunch of other guys too, like there's um, Deadfall Bushcraft, Pine Tree Line Outdoors. I'm hoping I'm getting these names right guys because I apologize, I freaking suck at names when I try to remember them and get them right. I suppose I should have a drink of coffee or shouldn't I, before it gets too cold. So yeah, that's just a few of the guys that I follow and I obviously follow all the big guys too. Um, and they're great videos and you know sometimes I watch them sometimes I don't it depends on um, how much time I've got because I can uh, I can literally fill my entire day watching videos um, I'm always interested in seeing new things and doing new things but usually I get inspired by watching all you guys do your thing like all the all my friends over in the UK and bushcraft heroes and, and the scrambled O's and the Joe Robinettes of the world like they're all inspiring in their own way and I think it's uh, it's a good thing. It's uh, very cathartic to do this too because you get to get out into the woods and get to be creative and, and think about what you're doing and, and, and create something you know not everybody can do. You can try but it's hard. You know it's not easy. Like I won't say that it's it's always fun editing like mad like a madman. Sometimes it can be quite tedious and a long drawn out process but then sometimes it can be like wow I totally you know, did that and this, and I learned that little trick, and, and so on and so forth. But yeah, so that's the end of a year for me in terms of YouTube and videos. And I feel like I've come a long way, and I'm very thankful all the support and comments, the likes, the subscribe. So that's about it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Sorry for the long video. Uh, just uh, wanted to kind of touch base with everybody. Uh, coming into winter and, and kind of recap the year a little bit and uh, shout out some of the good channels and so on and so forth. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, like if you like this video. It'd be awesome. But you don't have to. Don't really care. It's not the way it rolls anymore. Just out making videos, out having fun. Leave me a comment if you have any um, ideas for videos. As I said earlier, that'd be awesome. But otherwise, enjoy your own adventures and uh, hope you're having a great fall. And in some cases, early winners. But, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.
sitting sun. 